family, and football. These are the three words that bond the University of Tulsa football team together. So when the unexpected news hit that Dennis Bird had passed away, it was no surprise that the Tulsa football team turned to these three words to honor the TU legend. Dennis Bird was one of Tulsa football's top defensive players in their program within the last 30 years. Bird was a starter all four years and had a total of 321 career tackles at the position of a defensive tackle. Bird was then drafted in the second round by the New York Jets in 1989, but his NFL career was cut short in 1992 where he was pronounced paralyzed after colliding with another teammate. But Dennis Bird, he was something special, defying the odds just three months later after being pronounced paralyzed, Bird was walking again but was unable to return to football. Dennis Bird was a man that stood for everything that we want our program to stand for, a guy that was relentless in his fight to, to overcome odds. Uh, he did everything right, tried to make the people around him better. Dennis Bird was taken away from the Golden Hurricane family all too soon on October 15th after a fatal car crash. On homecoming weekend, Tulsa paid their respects to Bird and his family by honoring his memory at A.J. Chapman Stadium. Before the game, Bird was an honorary team captain as the players carried out a number 48 jersey with them to the coin toss. This not only hit home for the fans, but the players as well. I had no clue that we were going to do that, and I thought it was the most appropriate thing we could do. I thought it was awesome, and I tell you the truth, I felt really honored to just have Robbie was the one who handed me and Josh the jersey, to have him hand us that. It made it more than just a football game, you know what I mean? It was a special moment. Not only was Bird's number 48 painted on the field, but number 48 decals were also worn on each helmet. The TU flags were also flown at half mass during the game. He's going to be somebody that is truly missed within our program and within our family here by the university and our football program. But whatever we can do to, to show our thoughts and condolences for him and his family and just letting them know that, that they're always a part of this family and they're always in our prayers and we're thinking about them. Gone, but certainly never forgotten, the Dennis Bird legacy will surely live on at the University of Tulsa. Reporting for Campus Connect, I'm Paige Martin.